Friends, this SDA church in the U.S. has the image of Mary and some others in the church house. What are they doing with all these images in the church house? Is the Catholic Church influencing some of our churches? You know, when we talk about some of these things, some Adventists don't understand. But this shows that gradually, the church, especially in the North American division, is changing. If you want to know more about this story, then I would encourage you to keep watching and don't go anywhere. All right, before I get into the story, I want you to first watch this video because it is very important to what I'm going to say in today's video, okay? So just in a minute, watch this video I'm going to show you right now. Hello, pastors. Hi. My question is, so the original, well, the origins of Christmas is pagan, and it was about Roman sun gods and the winter solstice. And with knowing that, I was wondering why does the church condone celebrating Christmas? Yeah, well, you're absolutely correct that the... Uh, First of all, there's no command in the Bible to celebrate the birthday of Jesus. Uh, there's also no command forbidding remembering God's, the incarnation or God's son coming into the world. So there's nothing inherently wrong with remembering that. There are plenty of scriptures that people read this time of year that uh, talk about that event. Um, the date is a different question. Uh, you know, there's nothing in the Bible that tells us Jesus was born the 25th of December. Um, there is a scripture, I'm trying to remember, it talks about the 25th day of the 12th month, but it has nothing to do with our December. It was a Jewish 12th month. <laughs> but uh, that date is really because in many of the world's religions, they worshipped or their religion revolved around the sun. And because in the northern hemisphere, the shortest days of the year were December 21st, roughly, uh, and the days did not get noticeably longer until the 25th. They often called the 25th the birth of the sun or the rebirth of the sun. And so when the uh, church in Rome, they were trying to find ways to accommodate the pagans, they said, let's make as many accommodations as we can to try to reach them. And they said, well, since we don't know the date of Jesus' birth, let's say it's their day of the sun. And they combined the, the birthday of Jesus with the uh, birth, new birth of the sun until one port sort of eclipsed the other. And now people think about the 25th of December. Almost no one thinks about the Roman holiday. They're all thinking about the uh, birth of Jesus. So the question is, why would the church, or why do many churches, most churches, uh, celebrate that? Well, it varies. There's some churches that are very strongly, you got Jehovah Witnesses that, are adamantly against it, and uh, different Reformed churches. You've got some churches that that uh, deal with it cautiously. They educate their people that the date is not biblical, but the event is. And then they quote that verse in Romans that says, uh, you know, one man esteems one day above another, and that's Romans 14, verse 5. Another man esteems every day alike. If you're going to observe a day, observe it to the Lord. So um, we're probably in that category where we say, well, you know, if the world's going to talk about the birth of Jesus, let's make the most of that. We're not going to, and then some churches, it's, you know, Santa Claus and elves and, and uh, they, it's all the pagan emblems. All right. That was something about Christmas. And, you know, we are told several times that the month of December is not the birth month of Jesus. So it is not necessary as Christians for us to celebrate Christmas. Or let me say, it is not necessary as Adventists to celebrate Christmas because we know that the month of December, as I said, is not the birth month of Jesus Christ. And um, there's nowhere in the Bible do we find that Christians should celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, you know? But it looks like some Adventist churches still want to remember the birth of Christ in December and this church over here is doing the same thing. 
the church wants to remember the birth of Jesus Christ in December. So now we are going to see how this Seventh Day Adventist Church is celebrating Christmas in the church house. How they are remembering the birth of Jesus in this month of December and this is going to shock you. That was Oak Hill SDA Church in the United States. And uh, you saw the image of Mary, the image of Joseph, and baby Jesus in between with some Christmas trees and some Christmas flowers around them. You know, that was SDA Church. Oak Hill SDA Church in uh, the North American Division. When I saw this, I asked myself many questions. Yes. You know, when I saw this video at first, I argued that no, this isn't the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Because in the SDA Church, we do not have images like these. We do not have statues of Mary, Joseph, Jesus, and the others. I didn't believe that it was the Seventh-day Adventist Church until I saw the name of the church, Oak Hill SDA Church. What is going on? I, I just, somebody should just help me understand. I just don't understand what is going on in the North American division. I don't understand, friends. I don't, I don't. And you know what? It's not only the images of Mary and uh, Joseph and Jesus, but also small images of three angels blowing a trumpet. Did you see that? Just put it on. Put it on for them to see. This image. Do you now see this image? Do you see the three angels blowing trumpets? Yeah, so they have made images of the angels in the church house. So, are we now allowed to make images or bring images into our churches? Are we now allowed to do that? I, I just don't understand. You know, we have been criticizing the Catholic Church about these things. But why are we doing it? Why is this particular SDA Church doing it? You know, does it mean that the Catholics have taken over that church? Does it mean that that church has been influenced by some Catholics? I just don't understand. And you know, when we talk about some of these things, you will get some Adventists who will come and attack me, who will come and tell me that I am speaking ill of the church. Why shouldn't I talk about things that are not biblical? I'm not saying that Adventists have unbiblical teachings, but what I'm saying is that there are people 
that are bringing things that are not Adventist into the church. That is what I'm talking about. The church does not subscribe to images in the church. Even the church does not subscribe to Christmas. Then why are we doing this to ourselves? Friends, it is so sad. I just don't want to talk much about this. But what I would say is that there are some people in the church that are not true Adventists. And also, there are some people in the church that have not really understood the teachings of the church. And lastly, there are some people that just want to compromise. They know everything about the church, they understand everything about the church, but they just want to compromise. All right, thanks for watching. See you in my next video.